In this video, I'm going to show you the free Beast Ward gear you can get in New World, but there is a little bit of a catch, and that is you can only get it in Season 2. But the reason it's relevant right now is because it might affect your behavior and how you're going to get Beast Bane if you want to do the raid in Season 2. So let me jump in game and show you what I'm talking about. Now, I'm not going to spoil the Season 2 story. Suffice to say, this gear actually comes from the quests. I'm not going to say more than that, but if you did the Brimstone quest or the Season 1 quest, you know how it goes. I can't show you all of the items in game because of this iteration of the PTR the main story quest in season two is actually broken but i can show you what i've got so far it's worth noting that the icons are very much broken so some of the items look like this and you can see that this is a item that has beast bane on it or beast ward sorry not beast bane now this one's probably the weirdest one because it has shirking energy on it and that actually only works if you're in light all of this beast ward stuff is actually medium con now the elite chads out there might be rocking light 5 con so that might be no good but for a large percentage of the player base i think stuff like this will be completely fine so there's pretty much one of everything there's some leggings there's some feet some boots i guess there's some gloves and these are all perfectly fine it's beast ward and refreshing and invigorated yeah fine not maybe not bis but those two perk uh the refreshing and beast ward obviously very good in these circumstances and for all we know freedom and invigorated Maybe you're actually going to need them in the raid. We just don't know right now. So I've only collected three. You do also get this ring. I think this ring's actually quite good for tanking. But what we'll do now is I'll actually jump on to New World Database and I'll show you the collection. In game, as I said, I can't quite collect everything. However, there may be a surprise in the future that I will show you in a moment. And here we are on New World's premium website, newworlddatabase.info. I will put a link to all the new items from season two in the description. And as you can see here, there is pretty much one of everything. There's a helm, there's a chest piece, there's gloves, there's leggings and boots, and they're all medium. And most of the perks all make sense. They're all beast ward and refreshing with the acid resistance in there, which apparently we're going to need. This one's freedom. This one's shirking energy, which is a little bit questionable. This one's vigor. This one's indestructible, which is complete drank. It's a shame because that's on the chest piece, but there you go. And the first one was invigorated. Now, there are some extra items you get from quests. For example, there is this great sword. Now, I know people are farming a great sword now from the Spriggan, which is this, the Beast Hunter's Blade. Now, this has decks on it, Beast Bane, Trenchant Strike and Keenly Jagged. Quite good, to put it mildly. Whereas this one has Beast Bane, Enchanted and Keen. I'm not going to make a claim here that I even know what the best item will be for this. But you know what? Nobody's going to complain if you walk into the raid with that. And it's part of the quest. So is there any point farming for this? There is a bow, but the bow doesn't seem to have Beast Bane on it. There's a staff, but it's a similar story. No Beast Bane at all. There is, however, a shield and it is purple rather than legendary. But that shield does have Beast Ward on it. And not only that, there is a legendary sword, which also has Beast Bane, Trenchant Strikes and Keenly Jagged. And then finally, there is this ring, the Ring of Wonder. Now this actually looks quite good for a tank. Keen Awareness, Hearty, Refreshing Ward. If you're a tanky boy and you're looking for a cheap ring or free ring, boom, there you have it. Now we're not done just yet. Obviously, that is free stuff that you can get from the quest. If you like the look of that and you think, oh, I was going to try and craft that, maybe no, don't. I know if I, for one, for example, I was going to buy the green medium patterns, but now I was like, actually, what I'll just do is use the light ones because I'll probably go light and then pick up some of those mediums because why the hell not? Even in light, I think you can wear two mediums as long as it's not the chest, I think. So let that affect your behavior now in any way you want it to. But there's something else as well. Now, back in game, you may be familiar with the the chitin set of clothing some of you may know this is chitin which is the way i used to pronounce it until somebody told me i was saying it wrong but there are these chitin sets for light medium and heavy and when you look at it the only thing that it seems to really offer you is the acid resistance because that's pretty much guaranteed you don't get to pick the attribute and you don't get to pick the perks and this is on the pti right now and if i craft it nothing changes like if i actually crafted it like i crafted this one what do i get i got well one i didn't sort out the gear score but that doesn't really matter here i got acid resistance i did pick con because i was like why the hell not and i got penetrating mecking pot okay you can imagine if that was 590 it's something i guess but there's a sneaky hint that this might be changing but also it's worth noting that it literally might not if we have a look at this on the new world database ptr section it is worth noting that this is a work in progress so much has actually changed that there's a lot of things happening on New World Database right now. Things are obviously not necessarily as set as they are on the live version and stuff like that. You can't really like validate it in any way. But there is this version of these chitin patterns. And you can see there's a key change here. 
it's the same acid resistance but here it's actually looking in beast ward but as i just showed you on the ptr this is not in the ptr right now and there is a version of this there is new and old so the new ones are currently they're so new that they're not even live on the ptr so I've got to presume that this will happen, but it's not happening or it's not happened just yet. Now, does it really change anything? Because let's think about the way that you would actually craft some beast ward gear. The chitin padding as a gem, you can literally just add that in later. There's no need to like bake it in. And beast bane, obviously, if you have a golden scarab with the timeless shards, then you can pick two perks. You could literally just pick beast ward and refresh it if you like. Whereas if you use this, you're basically hoping you get the right attribute then you're hoping you get two good perks and it's a bit more of a gamble yes it's cheaper to gamble with and really if you just want some very very basic beast ward this is probably quite good because you get the chitin padding as well the materials though aren't cheap you still need the chitin plates and the chitin parts and all the kind of stuff that you need well i think you need one chitin plate and one chitin padding but you know what i mean it's not that amazing i'm just mentioning it because it might be important it might be relevant even in its change state, I'm not sure it overly is, but it's just something to consider. People are saying it might actually be worth crafting with those green patterns, might be worth crafting with scarabs. There's going to be many ways to get what you want. It's just whatever's best for you. So that's it. I really just wanted to show you the quest items from the season two uh, story because I think that's very important for a lot of people. Probably not for the ultimate min maxes, but once we actually see the raid on the PTR, we'll know if five con chads are actually going to be required or if you're going to want actually melee people who can survive a hit or two looking at the seasonal trial which i've not really spoken too much about but looking at the seasonal trial my guess is that some people are inevitably going to take a hit and unless you're an absolute god gamer you may want a bit more than five con light however we'll see they say it's the hardest content let's find out when it hits the ptr just in general though i want to say there's quite a lot of changes in this patch i'm going to do my best to sort of bring them to you in a meaningful way rather than just info dump on you i know i sort of did that with like the first uh, reaction but i've got a few videos lined up sort of going into details about some of the mechanics that have changed it's all kinds of interesting and cool stuff so stick around and make sure you subscribe big shout out to the people who support me both here and on twitch if you want to come and watch my crazy stuff then there is a link to my twitch stream in the description below what you should definitely do though is have a most beautiful beautiful day like and subscribe goodbye